What's going on? Today we got five exercises to strengthen your shoulder and this is going to be a form of prehab to avoid serious issues like shoulder impingement. Um, whether you're someone that has that or doesn't have it, this video is for you. If you do have it, I recommend you check out how to fix shoulder impingement. That'll be the first link down below. If not, start doing these now before you get it. Alrighty, and first exercise is a shoulder internal rotation smash. You're gonna wanna grab a light kettlebell and you're gonna wanna sit back with the kettlebell onto the ground, legs straight, your shoulders are down and back and you're gonna wanna place the kettlebell on the anterior head of the shoulder right here. And the goal of this exercise is to get your arms to a 90 degree angle and just work in and out of that range of motion with your head all the way back, nice and controlled. And you can do this before workout, after, and just use it as a nice prehab exercise. Now one thing here is it's very important to keep the shoulders down and back within this exercise. You don't wanna be lifting the back of your shoulder up off the ground just to increase the range of motion. The range of motion will increase as you practice this time and time and increase your rotator cuff strength and whatnot. So make sure to keep that shoulder down and back at all times. In exercise number two, we have a banded wall slide. Now this exercise is great, especially with the band because it forces you into external rotation, forcing your elbows outwards. And it's also a great exercise to really strengthen the serratus interior, which is very, very important for optimal shoulder health. So starting off, I like to put my toes and my knee against the wall, and this will avoid just excessive leaning. Sometimes when people do it, they lean backwards. So this will force you forwards in an optimal position. Band right around the wrist, chest is up, and you're just Forcing your elbows out while going all the way up. The end position, your elbows should basically be up at your eyes. And then just keep that elbow against the wall the entire time, controlled. And then repeat this for six to eight reps. Number three, we got face pulls. The beauty of these is that you're actually gonna be working that rear delt, so your shoulder has three heads, an anterior head, a lateral head, and a posterior head. So the real reason we work that rear delt is to posture you out and allow you to work that shoulder fully. You know, if you over strengthen one area, like people tend to do with the anterior head, the front head, from doing too many presses and heavy bench, but nothing else, it can cause imbalances and it can cause you to over rely on that muscle, resulting in impingement and or other issues. So without further ado, for the face pull, you're just gonna grab a rope or a band you can see on the left, I'm doing the band if you don't have access to the rope. You can go ahead and do loaded like I am on the right. You can go a little heavier. And depending on your mobility, you can decide how high you want to lift your elbows. If you have really bad mobility and it causes you pain, you can go the lower variation. I personally prefer the higher variation. I find I can get more contraction on my shoulder. Now as I demonstrate here, when I pull back, and pulling that elbow up, you can see I'm actually engaging that rear delt. So I find it really helps if you have someone kind of with you putting their finger on your rear delt right here, and then you're exercising, working that movement, pulling into it, really learning how to engage that rear head. Now you can also do the bilateral face pull. This is fantastic, especially used as a dynamic warm up, which can activate the posterior chain shoulder stabilizers, which are needed to safely press weight horizontally or overhead. And next one, we've got the reach, roll, and lift. And this exercise is great because it targets one arm at a time. And a lot of these exercises you see here are fantastic because it's actually targeting those smaller muscle groups in your shoulders, in your back, um, like the lower traps and the scapula and rhomboids that are often neglected for optimal shoulder health. So how it's gonna work is you're gonna be on all fours. You're gonna basically get your knees down, to or sorry, your elbows down towards your knees and your butt back, okay? You're gonna reach forward, roll over, and then lift without shifting your body up entirely. You don't wanna be lifting up like this. You wanna keep your back down and just lift, bring it back down, repeat. And go nice and slow for these, okay? It's not a race. Exercise number five, last but not least, is the supine kettlebell internal and external rotations. Now this one is fantastic because it's gonna work on strengthening your rotator cuff as well as the stability of the muscles around the elbows and the wrists, okay? So how it's gonna work, to be completely honest, this one is way too heavy. I would highly recommend way lower than 12 kgs, probably five or six kgs at the very most. Um, so you're gonna get onto the ground with this. Starting position is actually putting your hands right into the kettlebell like this, okay? You should be holding it exactly like this with your thumbs facing upwards, okay? Your shoulder blades are locked right into the ground 
the chest is up obviously, and now this is very important to pay attention. The full range of motion is bringing your thumb all the way around so that way it's facing your feet. Now the end range of, main range of motion, sorry, is bringing it all the way around so that way your thumb is facing the wall, okay? So watch very closely here. This is a little too heavy for me so I'm struggling, but it is very important to be doing this one for shoulder health. All the way around, thumb facing your toes, all the way around, thumb facing the wall to the other side, okay? Do these exercises, do them rigorously, it will really help you develop. Um, I recommend you can do these every day since they aren't super heavy and loaded. You can actually do this to get some stimulus, work mobility. Just be intelligent with it, you know, if you feel pain, back off. But go ahead and add this to your routine. You know, we like the term prehab. A lot of people have been using it because, you know, it's getting before you need rehab. So if you're someone who doesn't have impingement, take advantage, do these exercises before you do. And if you do have it, there's something you can do to build that up and hopefully escape some of the pains of that. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please smash a like, uh, share so other people can be free of pain, and make sure to subscribe that subscribe button. Let's go with that. Peace.